You're alright guys, Wipe is Caplex here, and first things first, sorry if my voice sounds a little deeper and weird. I think I'm ill. Oh wow. I don't know, I really had a really bad sore throat recently, and then now my voice is going like slightly deeper, I think. Uh it seems to be getting better as I've been talking more, but I don't know. But I was recording a video earlier, but then my blue screens, but luckily I didn't get too far in. Uh, a bit annoying still because something cool did happen. But today we're gonna be playing the uh EA Skate 1 demo. So let's start it up. This demo is not intended for purpose for professional purposes only. It may not be sold or reproduced by any party. EA HD. I feel like there's more paper on the outside of this already. But yeah, the Skate 1 demo. This demo was of course released before Skate 1 came out for people to play, test it, and just like enjoy it, you know. But this demo was released and is able to be downloaded. Not anymore, unfortunately. There's no way you can get this anymore unless you've downloaded it in the past. I actually never got to play this before. Believe it or not, I was at the Skate 1 demo like physically in person but i never actually got to test it because you had to be i think 16 years old at least i was like nine i was too young to actually play it i could take a photo my photo in the game without further ado let's check out this demo and see what it's like i'm on the uh xbox 360 uh so i have to use the 360 controller my old wired one is gone unfortunately so i'm on batteries i'm never a fan of Dude, that intro is so sick. So far, although you can't hear anything right now because it's course copyright music, it's pretty identical to the full release. I wonder if I stay here, anything plays. Start the demo. Oh, uh, okay. Of course, I have to tell you how you're how to play because of course this is before skate. This is the very first skate game, you know. Ah, uh, okay. This is where it tells you what the flicker system's like. Yeah. Now show me how to punch shove it. Yeah. Now try this hot shot. I'll try this hot shot. That's how you sure, that was a uh, That's I'll quickly do this whilst I'm here as well. We turn down the music. You can do this in this demo. You can turn down the music on the Skate 2 demo. So unfortunately, you just have to do this tutorial. Okay. That's one thing I've noticed already. The loading screen has got a lot more green in it. Yeah, that's got a lot more green in it compared to the normal, like, full release Skate 1. Oh, that's new. So the skybox like goes red when you bail. That's well, not new because it's actually before Skate One release. It's new to me. The Skate One sky is beautiful. Is that 60 FPS? This is like 30, 60, 30. That's some like weird frame rates where it goes up to between 30 and 60 FPS. So yeah, when you bail, look at the red sky. That's different. I kind of like that, to be honest. Demo challenges. Well done. See what's next. Let's go to the other side of the map, and then let's try and go back to my marker, and then see the loading, what it does to load. But I'm pretty much on the other side of the map now. Well, not really, but like the other side of the map, which I can, as far as I can go, because it's pretty much fenced off. So if I go back to my marker... Are you kidding me? Well, let me go back to my marker. Oh, well. So far, it feels so much like Skate. Just it pretty much because it is. It's very close to release. Although the brightness already when you get times three is insanely bright. Like this is like, like the floor you is just white, you know, it's too bright. But then if I bail here, hold on, if I bail, this looks normal, you know, this is just like normal saturation when you get times three in normal skate. Let's do this Paul Rodriguez challenge. But I think Paul was actually in skate one only. I could be wrong. I'll try and fact check it. But I think this is the only skate game he was in other than maybe skate it. I don't think he was in Skate It. I'm not too sure why, unless he has a contract with like the Tony Hawk games and had to do those. But yeah, Nolly... And Nolly tricks around. So this is pretty much the same as Skate 1. So yeah, luckily it all feels the same. Very neat that you can only do Nolly tricks in this. This is like in no other game. Dude, Nolly tricks. Game. That's off the nose. Yeah, I know, dude. Uh, was that not a Nolly trick? Better? But it's good that they include these pro challenges which tell you the basics. You don't have to complete them as well. You do have a timer. If you press pause, there's your timer. You get a 30 minute timer on the demo. I feel like it's more gritty as well on the outside. Like the actual camera lens when you bail. So if I bail again... But look how much grit there is around the camera. Looks like there's like some X drawn on it as well. But I don't know, it could just be me. I have to be up skate one, isn't it? What's that sound effect? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, it's for the longest when you hold like the longest thing, then it does a the slow-mo. What if he still yeah, he still hold hold on. One of this counts. Oh, it does. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Imagine taking this and then uploading it. It's just a manual. Go on, get that close shot. Get that close up. 
Uh, yeah, but no, this feels like skate. The only things, two major things I've noticed are the brightness is ridiculously bright. The loading screen is different. So when you like teleport back to Mark or if you load a challenge, it looks different. As well as Bale's a red screen now. Mike Valley. It looks like Mike Valley, right? But I know who this is. <laughs> hey there, my name's Cuz. Hi, Cuz. Like, look at the green all around that dude. This best track contest is on the big blue boob out in the center there. See That's a boob? Hi, gay. <laughs> Hi, my name is Calplex. See, so, I wonder if you can still do the reverb pop of this demo. I'm sure you can. Yep, yeah, there you go. I did, wait, did I do that over um, Fabio as well? I did. That's so sick. Nice. Now, for some reason, this demo as well, it's unlisted from the marketplace. So you had the only way you can play this is if you downloaded it back in the day. But I'm not too sure why it was still listed. Maybe licensing for the music. It's the same reason like other games get delisted, uh, delisted as well. It's because of the game, like the music. No, but considering this is on an Xbox 360, legit Xbox 360, this is actually really, really good looking. And I love that Cuz has always been the announcer for these as well. I'm really hoping that like next one Cuz can be the announcer because it's just that like beautiful like interaction with the community and the devs and all that stuff, man. Contest complete. Nice skating. Skating around the community center, perfecting flick tricks, finishing up on remaining challenges, or just uploading some footage to Skate Dot Real. You can hit the streets of San Vanalona when Skate hits the shelves this September. Thank you for playing. That's sick. That's all the challenges done. Uh, you've still got like 17 minutes left in your demo. Although you've got these recording challenges if you want to do them. And that's all the challenges complete. And that's pretty much, this is the whole demo. Unfortunately, the, let's try and do a hippie flip, shall we? Oh yeah, I may, I may need to go further back just so I can get a little bit more speed. Because you can't hippie jump in this game. There's no hippie jumps. Oh, nice. Nice. Then we go into replay editor. Nice and easy. Nolly Trey. So, unfortunately, I've tried many things to get out of bounds, and it has not worked in this game. Like, say, for example, if I try Nolly Pops here, I'm like. Yeah, oh, I'm so close there, but really, if I try and get a good high one. It's just too high, you know? The boundary is too high. There is another method we can try and do, which I can try up here. I try going up here. You kind of want to try going up here, right? You kind of want to power slide as you get up here. So, power slide. Can't place your marker unless you're right close to this edge. There you go. So now I can't push, because of course, I have to put Mongo push, because now my foot has no place to go. So if I Mongo and grab, I get flung into the air a little bit. And of course, this weird camera angle stuff. I'm thinking if I mongo grab at the right time, I can fling myself backwards, right? See how high I got there? I nearly got as high as the rail. Is there a way I can fling myself high enough? Oh, yeah, you can see that little like text F N A C M A Z K E Z. Like, what does that mean? That's the things which I can read on there, but then again, I am dyslexic, so I can't really call myself reading. Oh. Okay. There you go. I am now out of bounds. Technically. But in this game is buggy as. Here we go. We're free. So, the reason why you have to get over the fence this way to try this bowls out is so is because this is blocked off. You know, they've blocked this off. And the fence over here as well is also blocked off. They've put a fence here. You can't get out of bounds. And this fence is high, you know. You need a really good launch to launch yourself backwards. The only way I can think of doing it is if I got on top of this little, like, ledge thing up here. And tried again. But getting on top of there is going to be really hard. And vert in this game is not fun. Oh, I hate how it, uh, try, um, it tries to overcorrect you all the time. You kind of don't want to do a 540. You kind of just want to do a 360. But yeah, this is the only place out of bounds that you can get at the moment. Because... You can't really get here unless you glitch, so you technically are out of bounds. But yeah, unfortunately, the only other way I can think of is if you bail like this and keep going back to your marker. Your spawn point keeps getting higher and higher, but the demo has ex uh, timed out, exiting. That's it. And then you get the yellow EA logo for some reason. Then you get this like intro scene, rocket air, kickflip, baby flip, skate. A little bit yellow at the top right, which is interesting. It's normally it's orange, but hey. Then you get to see a little bit of like what you do in the game. 
Explore the city of San Vanalona. Complete over 100 challenges on your way to becoming pro. Create the perfect area with all these clothes. Skate Create Online with Skate.Real, September 2007. Now, I've loaded up the regular version of Skate 1, so we can just see some differences here. But there's something also else I want to show you guys. So press start, load my profile. The intro, same, same. Now, I want to go onto Free Skate, and I'm going to play as Fabio. We'll go, we'll just go to elementary school. Get rid of the peds and traffic. Now, this came because of the Skate 1 demo being found. Like, come on, dude. What? Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you can be a, um, you can be a cow for some apparent reason. All the flashing textures. But yeah, in the Skate 1 demo, there was a file texture for this cow. And the cow is called Bessie, apparently. So you can skate as a cow in Skate 1, apparently. Which is so funny. Like, how is this even, like, why did this even, I don't, like, why? How? It even says Bessie on the name tag itself. That's hilarious. But even with that, the skate, look, look how much cleaner this is on the demo. Look how much cleaner this is on the demo when you get times three. Like, it's you can actually see what's going on, the brightness and everything. And it still looks pretty good. Gestures as well. <laughs> what is this, man? But yeah, this was only found for some reason in the Xbox 360 version of the demo, rather than the PlayStation 3 didn't have this. So if they produced another game which had a cow in it, it makes sense. But I think... The only games that they ever really produced was Need for Speed and Skate Black Box. I could be wrong. Actually, let me check that up. Is there any other game that they made? Or they just used the same engine? Okay, check. Okay, they produced games NASCAR, NHL, Need for Speed, NHL, Sega Soccer Slam, Need for Speed, Need for Speed, Need for Speed, Need for Speed, NBA. The only games which were made like in 2007, maybe 2006, whilst they're working on this one, was Need for Speed Carbon. NBA Street Home Court and Need for Speed Pro Street. So I don't get why there's a cow in the game files. It just doesn't make sense for me. And why? Like, there's so many questions. Like, why is it a cow? Why is it called Bessie? And why was it only in the Xbox version, not the PlayStation version? You know what just hit me, though? Bessie needs to do a hippie flip. What the? Oh, natural selection strikes again. Natural selection. Natural selection strikes again. Whilst I'm playing as a cow. Cow hippie flip. <laughs> so sick. Oh, you can't press back for replay. I've also uh, made a video of me playing just a demo. No commentary, no nothing. So you can see it all on my second channel. That'll be linked. That'll be linked up here for you all. Yeah. Bessie. The secret, secret character of Skate. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and a week. And as always, cue the outro.